can you uh, play my therapist for a second? And if we talk about creative destruction, I think Buk not Bukowski, uh, Hunter S. Thompson has a quote, something like, for all instances of beauty, many souls must be trampled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it the, there does seem to be an aspect of competition that destroys you were talking about entrepreneurs sort of on the outside of the circle of order, striving to make sense, to compress uh, volatility of the chaos of the, uh, of the universe. Is there some way to protect a little bit against the pain of that destruction of that creative destruction that uh, entrepreneur screaming on fire as he enlightens <laughs> the rest of us? Is there some role for us humans together in the togetherness of it? Uh, also government, but any kind of collectives in helping that entrepreneur who's on fire to maybe after a few minutes to, <laughs> to uh, spray him with some water and uh, put him out of his misery. I would say that, you know, pain is the inarguable basis of being right pain is no matter how you try to <laughs> explain it away or or describe it or um it's not something you can rationalize away right it's no one i think ever like someone may want to cut themselves to have an endorphin high but no one wants to suffer we'd say right so pain in that sense it is what we're constantly trying to deal with and to move away from or create buffers between us and, and potential pain or potential un, you know, uncertainty. And that pain is information. Yeah. When we experience something that is misfit to the outcome we desired, that pain is what puts us, it, it encourages us to change our trajectory, to get back on course towards our, our valued aim. So as far as, you know, you need Entrepreneurs that are exploring and you're trying to do something new, if you're a pioneer of any kind, you are courageously facing pain. You're willfully confronting it. So I don't think it's avoidable in that sense. It's not like we can have pain-free economic growth, like what the central bank would maybe uh, have us lend to believe that we can just run these experiments and when they fail, we'll just paper over all the losses and continue. Or mm -hmm. you're just delaying and exacerbating the inevitable volatility back to reality. Um, but what I would say is that capitalism, because we're building, we're increasing the capital stock of the world, which again, capital is the mitigation of risk. So we're reducing the overall risk of existence by accumulating more capital in the world. And that's what protects that entrepreneur that's deciding, hey, I saved up a million bucks. I'm going to go try this business idea. I'm going to put all my, my money on the line. And if he goes up in flames, then he, his cost of living, when he comes back to reality and he's starting over from zero, his cost of living is substantially lower starting over from zero than he would be out in the wilderness on his own, mm -hmm. right? So it's the, the accumulation of capital stock is the buffer against uncertainty for everyone. Um, and it gives you actually more potential to go out and experiment, to go out and confront uh, the chaos of nature because you are, are better healed effectively.